basically what you do is you go on a Facebook and you um, search for a page, you know, like any, you know, maybe your friend has a Facebook page. Um, the one that I'm looking at right now is it's called Facebook Pages Public Profiles, okay? And on every single Facebook page, you'll notice in the bottom left, it says create a page for my business. So you click on that, okay? Nonprofits are going to click brand, product, or organization. Go in here, you see nonprofit, you select that, and I am going to just name this my nonprofit. Say I am authorized to create this page. Put your name in here. Create the page. The next step in the process is to change the picture. There's no picture here. Gives you a few different options. Um, you can either pull pictures from an album from your profile. You can take a picture with an eyesight camera right on your computer. Or you can upload a picture, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we will go to my desktop, and I have a logo right here. It's going to upload the logo, and I'm going to skip this step because this is basically publishing this to my profile. I'm not going to do that right now. And then the next step in the process is you click on Edit Page. Okay. Every single one of these has an edit function. Okay. So, for example, settings, generally you want to, you got to make it age appropriate, depends upon what, what you're doing. Um, we're going to leave it as unpublished right now. Click on Save Changes. Wall settings, this is really important, okay? Um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that fans can basically do anything they want on your wall. And the reason for that is that you want to give people a reason to come back so that anybody can contribute to the wall. Default view for the wall, what you want to do is you want to have the posts by the page and fans. Make it so that if they publish a photo, a video, or a link, creates more of a feeling of community. Okay. Um, you can also create a default landing page for everyone who's not a fan when they see the, your page. Photos, you can, if, if you have tons of Flickr photos, you can have that the first thing that people see. Um, so we'll just leave it at wall for now. Applications come with Facebook pages. Um, they're all pretty self-explanatory if you read this. Okay, you just read these sections right here. Links. All these applications kind of come with the Facebook page. You can go in here and you can edit each one. If you want to search more applications, here's something, a quick tip that I people run into. Sometimes people run into the, the issue of like, oh, I added an application, but it's adding it to my profile, not my page. Make sure that you're searching in this search box for the application, not in this search box. That makes a huge difference. Okay. The last piece in it is that you publish the page. Okay. And that's really it. There are several things you could do. That'll be for another video. But this one is really just getting you started to create a Facebook page, okay?